how to choose the resistivity and dash content when purchasing electrode paste. When purchasing electrode paste, customers will always have such questions for us. How much can your technical indicators achieve, such as resistive and dash content? In that opinion, the lower the resistivity and dash content, the better the product. Actually, it's not like this. Different smelting varieties have different requirements for electrode paste. Like the one in Anyang that we have supplied, the electrode paste is used in the ferromagnetic alloy refining furnace. We control the resistance to less than 65. During the preparation process formula, a large amount of graphite scrap are being added. Another example is the ferrocenic furnace export to a foreign country. The customer required the resistivity should be less than 70. Without on-site inspection, we found that the customer furnace could only reach to 90% of the load. We believe that the resistivity with 75 should be fine, which will also save some costs according to the formula that we have adjusted. The production has always been normal. Theoretically speaking, the electrodes in the submerged duct furnace play a role in generating resistance heat. Because of its carbon properties, it also plays a reducing role as a reducing materials like a semi coke. Therefore, from this point of view, the resistance control of the electrode base cannot be too high or too low. If it is too high, the current cannot be smoothly conducted to the top of the electrode. If it is too low, the resistance heat generated is not enough. Therefore, the resistivity and the dash content of the electrode base should be determined according to the type of smelting and the furnace type.